What's up guys, Hong Nguyen in here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about the biggest mistake that people make when they approach weight training. So before I get started, take a second to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So let's jump in. Um, the biggest mistake. So this really I find applies more to guys who are older and because when we're older we tend to think that well not me but I've noticed that in a lot of some of my friends and and some of the people that I know that are older they tend to tell me stuff like well you know I just go to the gym but I, I go really light because you know I, I'm just I'm more worried about my my joints and I just want to do maintenance work right and so they're not going to push it they're not going to try and get stronger and and faster and and so on and so on so they're not really looking to improve they're just really looking to maintain but i think that's a big big mistake now let me explain the way i see it is that if you're not progressing you're slowly declining so even though you're trying just to maintain you're you're still you think you're maintaining, but you're still, you're just kind of slowing down the process. So really the way, it, if you want to slow down the process, you really want to slow down the process. It's not going to be about maintenance. It's going to be about progression, right? So obviously you're not going to climb up as fast as you get older, but you can still progress and you should always go up, right? You should be on the rise when it comes to your your health, your, uh, your muscle mass, your endurance, uh, your strength, and, and all of that. Now, the reason why most people, in my opinion, don't go for, for progression and stuff like that is because throughout the years, they've accumulated a lot of injuries uh, in their joints. And of course, you know, maybe they're overweight or they haven't worked out in a long time, you know, and so on and so on. And, and in, really, they just don't understand the idea of periodization, which is to vary your workouts and cycle them properly, right? Like I talk about this, I talked about this on, in other videos, and I think this is such an important concept because if you don't cycle, like, of course you're gonna get bored, you're gonna get injured, you're not gonna see results as fast, and then life gets in the way, so it's, you know, it's, um, it's discouraging, right? To not see results or to get injured. And the reason for that is because, well, you ha they don't know how to cycle. Uh, and even when you get a, and cycling can be adapted. It's, it's a term that's really, it's used a lot for athletes, right? Uh, when it comes to periodization of strength to train athletes, to prep them f to be at their peak when they arrive at competition. But I believe that you can modify this with, with, with fundamental understanding of how periodization works. You can... Tweak this for the everyday man, for the older guys and for guys, you know, in general, for the young professionals and the older professionals and the guys who are even retired and stuff like that. Like you don't have to do it as strict as if you were an athlete. So for example, you wouldn't have to go through a 25 week cycle, like back to back nonstop, like an athlete would, right? There is a transition period and a rest period like in between uh, the cycles, but um you know, we can, we can make it so that it works for us. You know, we could stay longer, for example, in a longer or shorter in a phase. And here's another reason why I want to touch on is that athletes, sorry, I'm just gathering my thoughts here. So just bear with me for one second. It's all going to be make sense and it's going to be worth it. So most of us will never attain our physical potential will never get to the to the maximum to the ceiling right we never will because the only people who get to that ceiling are olympic athletes and here's the thing with olympic athletes guys they train they start let's say at five ten years old and they do this for like they start really young right and they also, it takes them about 10 to 20 years full time, working out full time. Like, you know, you, like us, we work 40 hours plus a week. Well, they do that full time 
for 10, 20 years to get to that level, to get to their, their ceiling, their, their genetic ceiling, their genetic potential in terms of strength, speed, endurance, and, and so on, just to get there. So they have to do that full time. So 40 plus hours a week, right, for 10, 20 years. Now, me and you, uh, most of us on this channel, like I might be wrong, if you're an Olympic athlete and you're listening to this, well, hey, you know, uh, hats off to you. I have a lot of respect for uh, people who get to that level, to that national, international level. And wow, Olympics is just, uh, it's the, the, cream, the cream of the crop, right? So anyways, back to what I was saying. But most of us who don't work out or, uh, or work out full time and who have a, you know, who have jobs, and we just do this on the side, we're never gonna get there. Like it would take us 10, 20 years. And plus, since we're older, it might not even be possible. Like I'm not, I'm not sure about that, so don't quote me on that. But it would, you know, like e even if it were possible, it would take you 10, 20 years training full time to even get to your your ceiling, your you know, that 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 potential uh, ceiling of of you know. All the, the physical attributes, you know, strength, size, and, and all that. So that's why I feel as though as we get older, like forget maintenance, you're maintaining what? Like there's no point in maintaining like a, a mediocre level of fitness, right? You should go, you should shoot up all the time because you're never going to get to your ceiling anyway. But it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be trying, right? You should still go for it. Right, and as a result, well, you're just gonna get better and better, and you're gonna be you're gonna be fit, and and you're gonna have more energy, and you're gonna live a better quality life, right? So I don't believe in this maintenance thing, you know, like and, and in terms of your joints and shit like that, like if you're worried about your joints, right? Well, exactly, that's why you should be lifting heavier. But obviously, you have to cycle this, right? There's a time, there's a phase to lift heavy in. And there's a phase where you shouldn't be lifting heavy in because you're going lighter and more repetition. And so I made a video about that. If you guys just look into my, I'll start making a playlist soon. Well, I've I started, but I'm going to organize it more properly. And if you bear with me, guys, on my journey to becoming a full-time YouTuber, personal trainer, and, you know, all of that good stuff that, you know, like everything's going to improve over time. It's going to be more organized, more efficient. Like if you guys notice in the past couple of videos, the lights are, are, are here now. Uh, I got this little mic here so the audio is better. And I just ordered myself a, uh, what do you call it? A, a mic that I attach onto my camera. Right now, I'm, I'm actually just using my phone. So I'm going to attach a, a mic to it, an external mic, so that there's better sound, audio quality, even... Uh, without me having to use this so then i can move around and maybe show you guys things uh and this this coming uh year right 2019 i'm going to be um making some more make some videos in it like where i train you know so i can maybe show you guys some techniques and and my approach to um to self-defense and what uh maybe some grappling tips for beginners uh i have a for those of you guys who don't know i have a Brazilian jiu-jitsu background. So I've been doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu for maybe uh, six, seven years, right? And about two years and a half, almost three years now, like uh, in judo. So my, 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 my specialty, my forte is really in grappling. So I think I'm going to um, make videos on that, show you guys some stuff. If you, of course, if you guys want to see anything, you know, just uh, let me know and uh, I'll be glad to, uh, to make a video for you. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope that made sense. Uh, if you agree or if you don't agree, leave it in the comments below, right? Of course, I just want to remind you guys, like, as long as it's uh, constructive criticism done with respect, then we'll talk and we'll have discussions and we'll debate about it, right? But if it's trolling, Obviously, I'm going to kick you out, not you guys, but the troll. I'm going to kick the troll out because I don't want the troll to be uh, messing around in my house and, um, ca you know, causing shit in my house. So if, if you're trolling, you're out. If your comments are crazy, you're out. I don't give a, you know, like I'm not going to, and I don't like going to a channel and then having all like the other guys, all the other people in the community right have to put up with that shit and read that shit 
you know? So anyways, uh, I just went on a little rant there about uh, trolling, but um, you know, sometimes I will answer uh, somebody who says something and I'm not totally sure if they're fucking with me or if they're just like, they put, put out a, they, they just wrote it out like that and maybe they didn't mean it that way, so I'll answer them. But uh, I think I'm gonna be a little bit more, uh, a little bit harder on, on people like that because like if you just put a comment and you're like, oh, this guy doesn't know nothing. Well, don't just tell me I don't know nothing. Tell me why I don't know nothing and then, you know, like, like elaborate, man. Elaborate in the comments. Like if you even have time to like talk, like uh, be criticizing me, then elaborate on it because if you don't, I'm just going to erase the comment. Like, you know, I'm not going to leave caca, you know, shit in, uh, in my house, you know? So if you, if you leave a comment that's constructive, you know, or if you say, no, 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 you're absolutely wrong. Well, tell me why I'm wrong. And then put some, uh, put some arguments and some, uh, uh, some, how do you say it? Some proof and, you know, to, to support your claim, right? Like, uh, I remember I made a video on, what do you call it? Uh, the title was, I'm even thinking of taking this video down, but it, it was called uh, Iron, Iron Palm Conditioning is Bullshit, right? And of course, since then, I've come to realize that, hmm, there might be something to it to condition, uh, you know, your hands. But then I realized also that it could be done very wrong. It could be done right. You have to have somebody to show it to you. And a lot of these guys also, they're showing like, you know, like when you're young, right? Like, that's what I was saying is like, okay, like your body could, could adapt to a lot and could handle a lot of punishment, but it's when you get older that, uh, um, that where, that's where the problem might lie. You know, you might end up with arthritis. And then I, I there was a whole bunch of, uh, silly comments I find and not, not silly, but guys were just saying stuff like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're not qualified. I'm like, okay, well, if you know what you're talking about, why don't you talk about it? Well, you know, like say it right here. But as far as I'm concerned, if, you, if you're just going to like throw out something and not, uh, not explain behind it, right? Not elaborate on why I'm wrong and why I, I don't know what I'm talking about, right? Then you're out, buddy. <laughs> That's it. So anyways, guys, thank you for listening to my rant. Sorry about that. But I hope that made sense when I talked about like progression, right? Until the day you die, so to speak, instead of maintenance, because maintenance is really just you going down slowly. But progression, well, I think it's much more beneficial. So thank you very much, guys. I appreciate your time and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.